today we got to run a power line from the meter up to the house, which will head to the breaker box in the house. And then out of that breaker box, it's going to feed the entire house with power. So on this property, they've run this transformer in from the transformer that's out at the road. This is a 10 acre parcel. It's pretty big. There's a lot of room here on this property. They brought the transformer from the transformer at the road, put in a new transformer. And then here you can see they've got the, the meter base. A lot of people will run from the transformer up to the house and put the meter base at the house. This is a little different. The advantage of this is that during construction you have power because the meter is set, plugs are in, and from the start of the project you've got power. It's, it's not a bad way to go. The other thing is that when the meter readers come, if, if they come out and read meters, if they're not hooked up electronically and just reading them through the line, then you don't have somebody right up next to your house reading your meter. They, they can read the meter and stay away from your house. That's, that's kind of nice. I like this. At my house, I would do it this way. I would set a meter. This is a 200 amp service. I would set a 400 amp service. And then from the 400 amp service, run out of that to run 200 amps to the house and then 200 amps to the shop or wherever it needs to go maybe that's a, a mother-in-law apartment or an auxiliary dwelling unit whatever whatever that is and a, a shop barn apartment whatever but i'd have that option and it would all be in right up front the 400 amp service is a lot more money up front but it means that you don't have to go back and upgrade later with with bigger wire and additional service from the power company it's in it's done and after the meter you're on your own you only have to deal with an electrician for whatever add-ons or upgrades that you want to do later on so this is this is a really nice system today it's beautiful weather we got 50 degrees blue skies no wind but there's still a lot of mud there's still a lot of frost in the ground it'll be interesting to see how the digging goes we're going to run this conduit from the meter to the garage. We'll get into it and see how it goes. So you can see the electrician's already been out and he's set the panel, put in the breakers, he's wired everything. He's done a really nice drop job. He's kept everything well organized. It's all labeled. It, it's ready to go. And so he's run everything to the house. What we don't have yet is great big wires coming in from the meter to power this up. So we're gonna be connecting right on the other side on the outside of the garage so that they can pull wire through our conduit up here to energize the panel. So these wires coming out, we've got some coax cables for cable TV or this might hook to the satellite, whatever. We've got Cat5 here for internet. And we've got this grounding copper that goes in to ground the, the panel. That'll come out to a ground rod out here. And we're going to be connecting right here into this, this box. This sticks in and it connects into the back of the meter, you can see, which is right in there. And so we'll be putting all of this together. The electrician was nice enough to leave this here for us. We can cut this to length. We can glue all the joints and put everything together. And then he'll be able to, to take this lid off and run his wire up and then tuck it into the box. So. We've got about a 150 foot run of this, this conduit that goes back to the meter. We've got to get from here all the way around. One thing that we had to consider is that we've got not only the sweep at the bottom underneath the meter, but we've got a sweep that comes up into the back of the panel here. 
and we've got a curve that has to happen to get around from the side of the house to the front of the house. When you're pulling wire, every time you have one of those sweeps, which would be a turn, um, you start to create friction in that, in that wire as you're pulling it in. We're gonna put this, uh, our trench, in a sweep, natural, just kind of bending the conduit as it goes to try to minimize the number of sweeps. We'll end up with two instead of three. There will be some friction created in the conduit itself, but it will be, it'll be less than having three sweeps. You never wanna have four sweeps because then you're essentially making a full turn and that becomes very difficult nearly impossible to pull wire through that. And so code doesn't, doesn't want to see that just because of the difficulty of pulling wire. This is a pretty small conduit that we're putting in. Typically I like to put in a three inch or spend the money and put in the four inch because it's better to have too much and not need it than to, to bury conduit and find out it's too small or that you're, you're, you can't pull through it and have all sorts of issues down the road. This is a two inch conduit. It's just one wire, 200 amp service from the meter to the, the, the panel here. It shouldn't be a big deal, but something to think about if you're running conduit at your house, better to oversize it than to come up short, have one that's too small.